Kilauea volcanic eruption and Mauna Loa, is it awakening? Helicopter pilots and uh, mechanics crucial to volcanic monitoring from the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory give us hourly updates of what's going on. As you can see, Mauna Loa is in the center of the island, the big island of Hawaii. The Kilauea eruption is on its 36th day and the USGS scientists have declared on Monday in a statement that they believe, they forecast, they predict that the Kilauea eruption will be more violent and it will be ongoing for the next couple of weeks. Now what's happening with Mauna Loa? It stands at over 13,000 feet, 13,800 feet above sea level. It's the highest point of the state of Hawaii, making the island of Hawaii the second highest island in the world. Most of the mountain is underwater, and when measured from its oceanic base, Mauna Loa is over 33,000 feet tall. It's the tallest mountain on Earth. Mauna Kea is about a million years old. It has thus passed the most active shield stage of life hundreds of thousands of years ago. In its current post-shield state, its lava is more viscous, resulting in a steeper profile. Late volcanism has also given it a much rougher appearance than its neighboring volcanoes, contributing factors including construction of cinder cones, the decentralization of its rift zones, the glaciation on its peak, and the weathered, weathering effects on of the prevailing trade winds. Mauna Kea last erupted 6,000 to 4,000 years ago and is now considered dormant. In Hawaiian mythology, peaks of the island of Hawaii are sacred. An ancient law allowed only high-ranking alii to visit the peak. Ancient Hawaiians living on the slopes of Mauna Kea relied on its extensive forests for food and quarried the dense volcanic glacial basalts on its flanks for tool production. When Europeans arrived in the eight, late 18th century, settlers introduced cattle, sheep, and game animals, many of which became feral and began to damage the mountain's ecological balance. Mauna Kea can be ecologically divided into three sections, the alpine climate at its summit, which sometimes see seasonal snow, the Sephora chrysophila forest on its flanks, and the Acacia Koa forest now mostly cleared by the former sugar industry at its base. In recent years, concern over the vulnerability of the native species led to court cases that have forced the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources to eradicate all feral species on the mountain of Mauna Kea. It's one of the five volcanoes that form the island of Hawaii, the largest and youngest island of the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain. Of these five hotspot volcanoes, Mauna Kea is the fourth oldest and fourth most active. It began pre-shield volcanic driven by Hawaiian hotspot around a million years ago. Uh, is the largest active volcano, Mauna Loa, about to erupt. Mauna Loa is the most active volcano on the planet, and it has erupted 33 times since its first historic eruption back in 1843, and it's one of five volcanoes that form the island of Hawaii. But is the volcano about to erupt? Mauna Loa Volcano, located on the island of Hawaii, is not erupting, according to the United States Geological Survey. During the past weeks, there have been a few small magnitude earthquakes, which occurred beneath the volcano at depths shallower than three miles or five kilometers. There were three felt reports of magnitude two and a half, 
at about 0 0.6 miles southeast of Captain Cook at the depth of 6 miles on April 9th. But the most recent earthquake was reported March 29th, local time, at around 1 o'clock, measuring about 1.64, around 25 kilometers east of uh, Napupu. The rates of deformation and seismicity have not changed significantly over the past weeks. The current alert level is advisory and the color code is yellow. Volcano is experiencing signs of elevated unrest above known background levels. Mauna Loa is the largest active volcano in the world, as we said, measuring over 13,000 feet above sea level. It covers half of the island of Hawaii and has erupted 33 times since its first historic eruption in 1843. And as we know, people who live on the flanks of the world's largest volcano, Mauna Loa, face major hazards, including lava flows as we see now, with the Kilauea lava flows and about 300 buildings already destroyed. So they face lava flow hazards, explosive eruptions, volcanic smog, or the uh, VOG, uh, the lays, as we see with the lava entering the ocean, damaging earthquakes and even tsunamis. The last eruption was in 18, sorry, in 1984, and it resulted in a lava flow which came within four and a half miles of Hilo, the largest population center on the island. It's always being monitored by the USGS and it has a tenacity to produce large flows of lava. USGS states that Mauna Loa eruptions produce lava at a much higher rate than most of any other Hawaiian volcano, even the highly active, of course, recent Kilauea volcano, resulting in fast-moving and long-traveling lava flows. Such high eruption rates require quick responses in order to protect life and property. The professor of planetary geoscience David Rothery said eruptions in Hawaii are of basalt, which make for low viscosity, runny lava. Unless it encounters seawater, basalt rarely erupts explosively because the gases can escape without shattering the magma into fragments. But we do see the lava of Kilauea running into the seawater, and that's where we get the uh, shards of glassy, uh, ash that is very dangerous to health, to people's skin, even entering the lungs. Now, according to USGS, I'll leave a link below for you for this, concerning the activity and what's going on at Mauna Loa volcano. Activity summary, they say this is dated, it's pretty old, I mean, it's May 24th. Uh, they say the activity summary, Mauna Loa volcano is not erupting. Rates of deformation and seismicity have not changed significantly. During the past week, only a few small magnitude earthquakes occurred beneath the volcano, and the number of monthly and weekly earthquakes recorded beneath the volcano has decreased to near background levels. Global positioning system measurements are still dominated by after effects of the magnitude 6.9 earthquake on Kilauea's south flank on May 4th when stations moved suddenly and are slowly returning to normal trends. The trends have recently been indicating that the deformation related to inflation of the magma reservoir beneath the summit and upper southwest rift zone has slowed significantly. No significant changes in volcanic gas release or fumarole temperature were measured. There's a link here you can have for more information on Mauna Loa. You can click on that background. Mauna Loa, as we said, is the largest active volcano on our planet, rising gradually to 13,681 feet above sea level. Its long submarine flanks descend an additional 
three miles below sea level to the ocean floor. The ocean floor directly beneath Mauna Loa is, in turn, depressed by the volcano's great mass another five miles down. This places Mauna Loa's summit about 56,000 feet above its base. The enormous volcano covers half of the island of Hawaii. Mauna Loa has erupted 33 times since it was first documented historically. The eruption of, uh, of 1843, its most recent eruption was in 1984.